TBC News. It's quite common to see people with disabilities beg for arms in many parts of Nigeria. But there are a few who are solving problems and doing so in unique ways. TBC News correspondent Uluwa Toyi Abu tells the story of a visually impaired man who has chosen to succeed in life through hard work. In many parts of Nigeria, when individuals are deformed in any way, they are tagged beggars before they even think of going to the streets. Indeed, some able-bodied persons for one deformity or another just to get people's attention and sympathy. This is because many lazy people have come to see begging as a good means of fighting poverty and reducing hardship. Surprisingly, there are still people, though living with disabilities, who are bluntly refused to eat the street to beg. In fact, some of them go as far as rejecting gifts from people who perceive them as deserving of gifts or arms. One of such people that look beyond their disabilities is Baba Studio Balereko. He is visually impaired. While some boys of his age sit in debt begging for arms, Baba Studio sits in the comfort of his father's living room repairing electronic gadgets like computers, telephones and radio sets. Alachi Obaleriko is Baba Tunde's father. He explained to TVC News that Baba Tunde was not born blind, but he lost his sight while writing an examination in junior secondary school. He informed that the family has been everywhere since then to ensure he regained his sight without being successful. His mother met me and told me that uh, he said he wanted to go and uh, read. Had to go to blind uh, people's I was shocked because uh, even if we have it in mind, we can't put it up to him. But while he was uh, in the school, he repairs a uh, laptop, handset, all sort of things. I too, I was a messenger. All this micro something that uh, some people with ISF, they use uh, I mean, uh, glasses to support themselves. But God gave him this talent to well, just either by hearing the sound or feeling this thing. He started from radio. We don't repair things outside. If anything happens, uh, to, we are looking for uh, many technicians before we come back. He has done it. So, how did Baba Sundi acquire the skills to repair these electronic gadgets? My engineer is not by it's just talent, it's by talent, it's not by skill. It's not what I acquired. I practice with our personal electronics at home. That's what I started with. My mom gave me support. Though my dad gave me support too, but <laughs> to some extent, yeah, my daddy complained. But instead of him to face me, to face my mom. Dr. David Akeju is a lecturer at the University of Lagos and one of Abatunde's clients. He recalled how they met and how he expertly fixed his faulty computer. I couldn't boot the laptop for days. I gave it to somebody on campus here. He fixed it and then the following day the thing relapsed back again. So I said, well, should I not give him a try? So I called him and I went to his hostel. I gave it to him and then he was able to fix it. So while he fixed it, I said, wow, that I've been trying to fix this for a, I mean, a long while and now that you can do it, I, I think I have a laptop that has been somewhere in my house for a long, a long while. You know, is this small Sony laptop? To be candid, I had given that laptop to about three experts. I mean, big time experts to fix the laptop for me. They tried all they could do. What was wrong? Couldn't boot the laptop. They said there is password something. Okay, format it and let let me be able to use it. They said they couldn't get to do it. So when he fixed that my laptop, so I said, well, when I get to him, I will bring the laptop for him. It was something amazing. The guy fixed that laptop within 24 hours. But Batsundi explained that he never saw begging for arms as an option. So he went out of his way to seek admission into the University of Lagos. I'm afraid I'm comfortable. I don't, I don't like it. 
maybe because of my level of education, my level of exposure, then maybe that's what caused Because I'm not born like this. That's just it. Mostly those people, maybe because they are born blind, other stuff, they don't know, they don't believe that they can go to school, other stuff. Maybe that's the issue. Or issue of money, I can't say. But back to the siblings told Television Continental that since he lost his sight, he has not been a liability to them, adding that he is in fact more industrious than many able bodied men. He didn't disturb anybody. He's doing his own. He's, work, he's washing his cloth himself, doing everything himself. He's not a body for us. Yeah, there's nothing we can do. We need to cooperate and give him assistance. But back to the Titus rule, his normal routine of repairing laptops. This is the round. That's true. Uh... If many physically challenged persons can take a cue from a bad story, they will not only be helping themselves to be more economically independent, but they also be helping the society to be more decorous by eliminating the street beggar syndrome. Oluwato in Abu. TVC News, Lagos. TVC News.